to Gusto News on Gusto TV. My name is Ife Oluwa. And today on the news, I have Machala of Lagos. Yes, we skied I, as well alongside yes, Seung Kutsi, yeah, of video making around online. I also have Tua Savage and Shay Shay. It's been a gas, boost, boost, gas lately. Yes, but of course, before I go on, I'll say thank you to you guys for all you do for us, for likes, for comments, for telling people about Gusto. And of course, if you're new to this channel, please click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell starting up the news with um Whiskid. of course we know Whiskid is can be referred to as an international artist yes he has a grammy award yeah he won that i mean recently in 2021 at the just concluded grammy awards but somebody feels like um i mean they're just four um nominees of grammy award in nigeria and as you know in this video making rounds online this person who as well is an artist and of course can be referred to you know, is the son of that person who is referred to as the afro beats king and that's of course sheung kutsi son of fella and nicola kutsi yes in this video he talks about those who have been nominated for grammy award and those he referenced as grammy award nominee according to him you know he said we have just four of them in nigeria and if you're featured or uh, somebody got you on a song that got a grammy award you in no way according to shayun kutsi he does not recognize such a person as a grammy award winner of course we know that that person who recently won uh, you know the grammy award alongside beyonce is whiskey on the song brown skin girl and yes shayun kutsi has gone on to say that look there are only four people in this country who have been nominated for Grammy Awards. He said himself, um, his brother Femi Kutsi, and as well Bonner Boy, who is also, you know, a winner. He won as a soul winner, you know. And for this, a lot of conversation is coming up online. Some people are like, oh, why is he talking like that? And some people are like, he could be right. Well, trust me, FC would always be there to defend Whiskey. That look, what no matter what Sean Kutsi thinks. To some people, Whiskey is a Grammy Award winner. Of course, if you visit their website, you'd see that you know he's listed among those who um, have won the Grammy Awards. Yes, and this person said, someone said, even Fela was proud in heaven the day Whiskey won Grammy. You, that is Fela's son. What have you done to make your father proud? Whoa. You know, FC, they would always be there to respond. Yes, and someone else actually put up another tweet. And this person says, Whiskey is what Sheon Kutsi wants to be. It must be sad to see someone else carrying his dad legacy in a bigger wave. Fella will be so proud of Whiskey. Can't say that about Sheon. Someone should check on him. He must be depressed. Wow. Well, yes, but of course his head is view. It feels like, I mean, even during the, you know, the old Grammy waves and all noise here and there, some people come, oh, Barack Boy is different from Soul Winner and all of that. But trust me, Whiskey is a Grammy Award winner. He contributed, he was on the song and he did his thing on there. So I don't know why the old back and forth, you know, or just those four people have been nominated for Grammys in the country. But FC, of course, they're now having it. They've come up with so many trends and tread on Twitter. They spiked the ban. So, def you know, they actually have to push the ban one side and come online by all means possible to defend the um, Whiskey and just once again restate the fact that Whiskey is a Grammy Award winner, whether Sheon Kutsi admits that or not. Next on this news are those we could refer to as the queen of Afrobeat. Yes, these ladies have done their thing in music when it comes to Nigeria. And you know, one of them is a bad girl of Africa. Yes, she's doing her thing. She's done so much. It's a silly album. It's still a most recent. And she's gone on to tell us that you know, she's working on another one. And for Shay Shay, yes, um, recently released Pimpe with um, alongside Yemi Alade. And of course, she's also a judge on the ongoing um nigerian idol and so that's to tell you know these ladies are actually very well respected individuals when it comes to music in nigeria a lot of questions have been going why don't we see our ladies in collaborations as much as we see the you know our male their male counterparts in the industry do you know this is actually good for the culture and of course it will help them push their brand as a person imagine just imagine these two great art, you know artists got each other and a song this person fans and that person fans coming together to push it it's really going to be big but yeah 
um, the case seems to be different now because the video making rounds online of part one and part two. Yes, a blogger in Nigeria, yes, put up a video. Um, that's Sunday Ednot, yes, giving credit to you, put up a video. And with this video, we could see, hear yeah, the voices and the exchange of words coming from both parties. Yes, reading a lot of captions on, on that um, post and also on other blogs that shared it, made to understand that, you know, she, she tried to reach out to um, uh, Tiwa Savage, yes, to speak to her. And I guess Tiwa Savage is not just having it due to some other things that have gone out. She feels there are better way to apologize to me. You can pick up your phone to call me or you can try to reach out to me, not reaching out to me when we come across ourselves, you know, by chance. Because according to this video, you could see that both ladies are actually at the saloon, you know, probably went for air treatment and all of that. And of course, um, came across each other. It looks like a very, not too good, yes, exchange of words between two, um, I mean, female artists that are well respected in the industry. And of course, this is generating a lot of conversation online. And of course, on, offline, yes, people are talking about that at the moment. That what could really be the problem between these, you know, artists? I mean, watching the video, it seemed like something from way back is what T.Y. is still holding on to. And uh, maybe, you know, uh, Shay saw an opportunity to reach out, but T.Y. is not just having it. But we hope that these two artists can come together put whatever is going on behind them. It will be good for the culture and of course to encourage younger female artists so they get to work together. Yes, but that's what is you know, that's what is happening at the moment. Shay Shay and Tiwa Savage in a video exchanging words heatedly and we just hope that um, this thing does not go beyond you know what it is at the moment we hope they are able to put it behind them and move on for the sake of industry and the younger ones you know females artists who are coming up and looking up to them as their role model yes so on that note is where i'll be saying goodbye um, of course if you're new to this channel please click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell see you next time bye